The next big, th- big thing to come out of Central Massachusetts in basketball, and I emphasize big, is Justin Vanderbon from Whitensville Christian. He's almost seven feet tall. He already has five Division I offers, and trust me, folks, more are going to continue to roll in as the season goes along. But don't take my word for it. Roll the tape. Justin Vanderbon. First, we're going to see Andrew Goyette leading Uxbridge on the road, and there is Justin Vanderbon leading the Crusaders. First quarter. Crusaders going inside to Vanderbond. And the big guy showing off the touch. Indefensible. Whitensville Christian up by two. Spartans answering. Harrison Mansfield. Three off the window. He had 17 points. Uxbridge is up by one. Whitensville Christian on the run. Justin Tully. The alley-oop. Vanderbond, the one-handed throwdown. He's jacked and pumped. Then it's Vanderbond spotting up beyond the arc. Yes, sir, folks. Three ball from the seven-footer. Crusaders up by six. Whitensville Christian running. Gabe Brookhouse hangs and hits. Whitensville Christian up by eight. Crusaders are very talented. Tyler Gorman, pull-up jumper. They're up by ten. Vanderbond showing you he is a complete player. Putting it to the floor. Taking it to the den. So tough to guard this Whitensville Christian team because everyone can shoot. Gorman beyond the arc. Three of his 11 points. Whitensville Christian up by 15. You want more Vanderbond, you say? How about a lefty hook? Yes, lefty hook. He's a righty. Are you kidding me? He'd be the best center at BC since Billy Curley, and the Eagles are one of the teams after him. Uxbridge continuing to battle. J.D. Sidhu going inside to Jack Hughes. Turn around off the glass. Whitensville Christian just getting nasty. Bullet pass to Vanderbond. Reverse layup. Two of his 21 points. That is just flat out ridiculous. Crusaders unselfish, good passing. Shots blocked by Tom Sawyer. Brookhouse cleaning it up. He had 10 points. Whitensville Christian gets the win. 62-32, your final. Notre Dame Academy hosting St. Bernard's in girls basketball. And the Rebels' gym looking good. Some new bleachers. First quarter, NDA's Ellie Potvin. Under the basket for two. Rebels up by two. Then it's Allie Walker feeding Abby Corvo. Corvo hits the jumper. Rebels by four. St. Bernard's. Rhiannon Young going up strong. She had 15. Bernardians down by two. Abby Corvo feeding Walker. Knocking down the jumper. Rebels up by four. NDAs. Kara Corvo. She had 15 points. Stops. Pivots. Leaner. Counted and she's fouled. Rebels up by six. St. Bernard's. Elizabeth Hoyt off the steal. Taking it herself up and in. She had 10 points. Bernardians are within four. Abby Corvo from beyond the arc. That is a WNBA three. Deep. Nails it. Rebels by 10. Second quarter now. Kara Corvo. Corvo. Drive and dish to Kate Smiley. Popcorn for Smiley. She had six points and 10 rebounds. NDA is a winner. 62-46. Olivia Hicks, a commit to the University of Maryland for soccer. Leading Uxbridge against Whitensville Christian and girls basketball tonight. Third quarter, 21-14, Uxbridge in front. Whitensville Christians, Mackenzie Gorman with the short jumper. Crusaders down by five. Whitensville, Uxbridge rather, with the defense. Sarah Johnston, the steal. Johnston going coast to coast. Two of her eight points. Spartans by seven. Crusaders on the break. Carly Berman to Gorman. Well done. Gorman had six points. Whitensville Christian battling for the ball. Anna May getting the shooter's roll. Whitensville Christian down by three. Uxbridge, great hustle. May, going to the floor, kicks it out. Deep shot is off the mark. The rebound by Hicks, up and in. Fourth quarter now, Crusaders looking to make the comeback. Down by 10, May the baseline jumper. Great play by Ella Van Toll. And there we go, they send it in. Up and we go, Jesse Vandenacre following her own shot. Then it's Hicks. Going coast to coast. Off the window for two. Uxbridge up by seven with a minute 25 to play. One minute left in the game. Maggie Stryker. The rebound and putback. She had six. Uxbridge gets the win. 39-30, your final. Senior captain Paige Dawson leading the Bancroft Bulldogs against Eagle Hill. Bulldogs playing some stout defense. Keely Baglio with the steal. Lays it up and in. Bulldogs up by two. Bancroft. Moving the ball in the offensive end, leading to Isabella Ballion. Getting the open shot, turns around, knocks it in off the window. 
Bulldogs up four. Ballion had four points and 11 rebounds. Pioneers. D. Maher taking it just inside the arc. Bancroft lead is cut to two. Bulldogs defensive pressure. The steal. The shot's off the mark. But Baglio hustling. Finishing the second chance on the baseline jump. Baglio. The steal. Heads up play with the deep ball to Anna Madonia. She works hard for the hoop. Lays it up and in Bancroft's lead back up to two. Good passing for the Bulldogs. They find the hot hand. It's Baglio. She's an eighth grader. She had 18 points, five steals, three assists, two blocks, 42 to 30. Bancroft, a winner tonight. The Railers do not have a long preseason. It's not like the NFL where you get over a month. These guys only have a couple days of preseason practice. So team chemistry has got to be done on the fly, on the run during the season. The Railers have done a nice job of it and are a close-knit group. Players coming together the way that we have been, uh, practice and uh, following into our systems. Uh, obviously, the success makes it a lot more fun to be around the rink, and guys are just excited to be there, and guys are excited to keep this uh, mentality and the winning ways going. You know, I think uh, we started building a better chemistry, uh, especially in practices. I think we're making, uh, we're definitely making better plays, keeping our diesel a little tighter. And uh, I think everyone has just been playing better recently, and uh, hopefully it just keeps going. All right, so the Railers are at Brampton on Wednesday. Then they're back home at the DCU Center on Friday, taking on the Adirondack Thunder. It is the fill the boot game to benefit the Ava Roy Fund. So come on out Friday night at the DCU Center. See the Railers, cheer them on, and you can help benefit the Ava Roy Fund as well. They'll have the fill the boot game. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Kevin. That is all we have for now. For Kevin Shea, I'm Olivia Lemon. Thank you for watching, and have a great night.